Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Friday, September 25, 2009. Here are today's top stories. The CW handed a full season order to its drama One Tree Hill. Originally, the CW had ordered 13 episodes of One Tree Hill, and now the series is receiving a full seventh season order. Additionally, the CW ordered nine more scripts of Frost's series The Vampire Diaries, and six more scripts are in the works for Melrose Place. Several series are returning or debuting next month on various networks. Season 3 of A&E Network's real-life series Parking Wars is back starting October 6th at 10 p.m. This new season follows employees of the Philadelphia Parking Authority in addition to those working for the Municipal Parking Department in Detroit. Hybrid Films produces the series for A&E. E! introduces three new ladies living in the Playboy Mansion as a new season of The Girls Next Door begins October 11th at 10 p.m. Fine Living Network debuts its new competition series Bartender Wars on October 16th at 10.30. Hosted by Egypt Sherrod, each of the 13 half-hour episodes follows three New York City bartenders as they do battle in a series of challenges. Discovery Channel opens a third season of Storm Chasers on October 18th at 10 p.m. 2008-2009 season results for Sunday morning talk show NBC's longtime staple Meet the Press remained in the lead over the other Sunday morning news talk shows, though NBC saw some decline in viewers year to year, while ABC gained ground. The end of the season results, NBC's Meet the Press, 3.8 million total viewers, that's a minus 3%, 1.3 percent million adults 25 through 54 viewers, minus 5%. ABC's This Week, 3 million total viewers, that's plus 12%, 1 million adults 25 through 54 viewers, plus 4%. CBS Face the Nation, 2.8 million total viewers, 1 million adults 25 to 54 viewers. And Fox's Fox News Sunday, 1.3 million total viewers, 500,000 adults 25 to 54 viewers. Some casting notes, Stephen Root, fresh from a stint on HBO's True Blood, will next appear in a multi-episode run-on the eighth season of Fox's 24. Root will play Ben Prady, a Department of Corrections officer hunting for a parolee gone missing. And FX tapped Natalie Zia for its new drama, Lawman, as a regular cast member. Zia plays the ex-wife to main character U.S. Marshall Givens. And TBS hired Baseball Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson, a.k.a. Mr. October, as host for a collection of one-on-one interviews titled The Pride of October, airing during the network's exclusive coverage of all four Major League Baseball's division series and the National League Championship Series. The interview series begins October 7th in TBS pregame show MLB On Deck. Expanded editions of the interviews will also air as interstitials between games and online at TBS Hot Corner via MLB.com. Producer Mark Burnett was chosen as executive producer for the People's Choice Awards 2010, broadcasting live on CBS January 6 from the Nokia Theater in L.A. Queen Latifah returns to host the award show for the fourth consecutive year. And Simon Cowell is working with Fox on a possible deal to bring his British hit series The X Factor to the U.S., reports THR, which is contrary to his current American Idol contract. Fox and Cowell are discussing adapting the music competition series for U.S. audiences where Cowell would serve as executive producer. The talks also include ensuring Cowell's presence as judge on American Idol for two more years. Currently, The X Factor is in its sixth season in the UK on ITV. Hi, I'm John Cox, and in this past week I watched five premieres of TV shows, House, Bones, NCIS, The Office, and Community. I liked them all, but there were some that I liked better than others. The first two I want to talk about is Bones and NCIS. I like both of these shows a lot. They stayed true to their formula and delivered predictable, yet satisfying stories. Next is the new show Community. I think this program has a lot of promise, and I'm a big fan of Joel McHale, and I think he's really good in the lead. In fact, I really like the whole supporting cast. The only problem I have with this show is, well, Chevy Chase. I think he's a talented actor, but it seems like he can't resist the temptation to upstage everyone else in the show by making faces when he reads his dialogue. 
It's going to take a strong director to reel them in, but if they can, I think this show is going to be great. The next premiere is The Office, and it was fantastic. I think it was sharp, clever, and very, very funny. My only concern is that Michael Scott is becoming such a dunce, it's getting hard to root for him. Now, I know that in the original version of The Office, the Michael Scott character, David Brent, wasn't supposed to be likable. But us Americans, we want to like the characters in the TV shows. Just ask Dabney Coleman. And last, I want to talk about House. To be perfectly honest, I was getting a little turned off by House because it was the exact same thing every week. So what about the two-hour premiere? It was brilliant. The story was compelling, Hugh Laurie has never been better, and the other actors were spot-on perfect. So if you missed it, do whatever you can to see it, because this is what TV should be. I'm John Cox, and I need to go wash my face. Thanks for watching. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves, more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few of the stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonik. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.